Welcome to the ASL Family Channel. In Chapter 434 of One Piece, we revisit a pivotal moment when Whitebeard, upon seeing Shanks, says something that has left Han speculating for a long time. He mentions that Shanks' face reminds him of the wounds inflicted by that bastard. Initially, many assumed he was referring to Gold D, Roger, and their legendary battles against the Pirate King. However, with the introduction of Garling, a character from God Valley, and especially after seeing a younger version of Garling in Chapter 1095, the resemblance between him and Shanks becomes apparent. This raises the intriguing possibility that Garling could be Shanks' father or some relative. Given this new perspective, Whitebeard's words become quite ambiguous. It's now possible that he was referring to Garling when he mentioned that bastard. After all, seeing Shanks' face might have reminded him of Garling's face from their past. Moreover, it's almost certain that Whitebeard and Shanks crossed paths in God Valley where this fight could have occurred. Let's delve into an analysis of Whitebeard's scars. Before the Marineford War, Whitebeard had distinctive scars on his chest, one in the middle, one in the shape of an L on the right side, and one that looked like an X on the left side. However, we can rule out the possibility that these scars were inflicted by Garling in God Valley. This is easily confirmed in Odin's flashback, where we witness the fight between Whitebeard and Roger. This fight occurred many years after the events at God Valley, and Whitebeard didn't have these scars back then. Furthermore, when we see Whitebeard's final moments while talking to Roger, he still doesn't have these scars. So, we are left with a few possibilities. One, Whitebeard might have been talking about Roger, but those scars might have come after Roger became the Pirate King. Two, Whitebeard might not be referring to physical scars, but perhaps internal wounds, aligning with what Shanks mentions later about healing water for the internal injuries Garling inflicted on Whitebeard. Three, it's possible that Whitebeard and Garling met again after God Valley, even after Roger had become the Pirate King and engaged in another battle during which Garling inflicted those specific wounds on Whitebeard. In conclusion, while we can rule out the idea that these scars were from a fight between Garling and Whitebeard, in God Valley it doesn't dismiss the possibility that they clashed there or that Garling could have been the one who wounded Whitebeard later on. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to leave your comments below. That's all for today's discussion. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on more exciting One Piece content.